guys, this is the guy right here, and welcome to the world of Redstone. Yes, this is uh, my follow-up, part two of my Redstone for Dummies series that I'll be showing you um, how to make awesome Redstone creations. My last video was kind of giving a basic overview of what Redstone was, what it does, and I'll just do a quick recap. Redstone, this thing right here, is basically the wire in Minecraft. Um, when you put a current through it, it uh, carries a signal that can um, change objects that react to redstone. So, um, yeah, it's kind of like programming, but in the visual visual format for uh, Minecraft. So, yeah. Today, I'll be sharing with you one of the many things that I um, did a while back, actually, in one of my other videos. And um, I was kind of showcasing my house that I did for fun, um, that I used mod for and stuff. Um, if you didn't see it... Um, one of my special features that I put inside that house was a passcode lock to enter that house. So, today in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a passcode lock for your house, base, mineshaft, whatever. So, to get us started, we're going to, um, well, set up our, uh, our system for inputs. And that would be making little pillars for our levers. We, uh, in this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to make five levers into um, our passcode lock system. You can easily make that into six, seven, as many as you want. But in this, um, this episode, I'll be only showing you five because um, you know I don't want to do too much extra work. Actually, it's not that much work. It's just, I don't know. It seemed like a good number to me. So, yeah. So basically, what you're going to want to do to set up is make five pillars like that and put a block so it's kind of l-shaped with the lever right there so right now you're going to want to put down the levers that you want to be down in your combination so for this example the second one would be down and the third one will be down so those are the two that down that are down so you go to the ones that are down and you put torches on them Double check which one is down. Alright, so these two are down, so I'm going to put torches on the back. Now you just connect that with redstone, they turn off automatically. And the rest you can just put redstone down there like that. Now, um, I'm going to explain this part. Um, the things that you have down, this will basically reverse the polarity so it's an even current going through all of them. And you're going to want to connect them. You're going to want to all connect them in the middle, right here, to one point. And this point will be a dirt block. So, you just connect them all to the dirt block. It's not making much, much sense right now, but I will explain it to you in just a second. And this dirt block will be our central command of gathering all the inputs for these things. So, as you see now, if the code is correct, this torch will be on. But... If I hit off one of these making the passcode wrong, this will light up, and the light will turn off. Now, this happens because there's no current going through this wire right here, which turns on this um, redstone torch, powering this whole circuit right here. Therefore, turning this off, because if there's a positive current going in, the torch will turn negative. So, um, that's basically why that works. I'm going to go flip that. Uh, no, it was this one. I'm going to go flip that now. So now all of them are off, making sure that this one is on. So um, that's basically how that system right there works. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is connect this to an AND gate. Um, let me just separate this a little more. There we go. Make sure it's nice and far away from your other circuits. You don't want to get mixed up with some other things. So basically, what you want to do is you want to create an AND gate. And the wire from that central um, collector from the uh, levers will come all the way over here to the right side of the um, AND gate. And you just set up a regular AND gate like I showed you in the last episode. Like that. Um, put a torch right here. Put some redstone right there. 
So as you see, this this um, torch right here is off because there's a current going through here. Now, what's going to make this turn off is the submit button. So for a single second, this is going to turn off, turning this torch on. But we want to keep it that way. So um, we're going to have to create an RS NOR latch right here, which basically says um, it takes the current of the current thing and holds it there. So if you press the button, turning it on for a single second and then it turns off, the RS NOR latch would make sure that it stays on for a long time. Well, forever until you choose not to have it um, still be on. So I'm just going to make a little submit button here. And um, yours might look slightly different because of the placing, but um, essentially it should be the same concept as all of the other things. So I'm just going to do the same thing, except for this time I'm going to put a button right here. So as you might see, I'll do a little quick, that'll turn it off momentarily turning on that torch right there. So if you're looking at the AND gate, it turns off the top torch and turns on that one for a split second. Now to keep the um, powered state for this torch right here for for um, longer instead of just having it on for about a second you want to create an RS NOR latch which I will show to you here now basically an RH NOR latch RS NOR latch is the same as I said before it keeps keeps that signal for as long as you want until you reset it um, so I'm just gonna create a simple RS NOR latch you can copy my design um, it's not copyrighted, rest assured. There we go. And that is our simple RS NOR latch. Now I'll just show you here. This link right here is off, right? So when I go here and hit the submit button, right here, it turns that on. And essentially, if this was just a wire, this would turn off with that within that one second boundary but since we have this RS NOR latch this still remains on so what we're going to want to do this is wire this to the um, final door right here put the door down yeah I'll make it a little further away from my things so um yeah just make it come over here whoa wrong button Alright, and we're going to connect that to the door. So, um, let me reset my th Oh, that reminds me. We need to make a reset button. Die, sheep. Die. <laughs> Alright, to make a reset button, I think we need a repeater in here somewhere because, um... Wait. There we go, I just need to do that. But, to make our reset button... All we have to do is activate this part of the RS NOR latch, so this will turn off. So, as you can see, if if this current is enabled, this torch torch will um, still be off, but then this one will turn off, creating this polarity um, off. So that will close the door and reset our little um, passcode lock for us. Now. Um, to do this, you just wire up a simple button. I'll just do this way over here, out of the way. Okay, I'm out of redstone, guys. Um, a little note to self: if you are doing vanilla um, projects and you want this to be one of them, it requires a lot of redstone and um, some resources. So just be aware before you make this that it is going to take up several resources. So I'm just going to wire up this reset button here. Normal button concept going on. I'm just going to wire it up. There we go. And when we press this button, oh, I probably need to put a repeater in there because it's going to lose that current pretty soon if we don't. So I'm just going to find one. Right there we go place that there. I think it's the right way. And if we press this button, the door should close. Yes, the door does close. So let's make this a little more realistic, just like last time. And um, make it look like your base. Feel right at home there. There you go. Here's your base. 
bullets. Now, the normal person would not be able to get into your base, your base covered with redstone, but if you have the passcode, let me mix it up here, if you don't have the passcode, you still would not be able to open the door. And that is because this right here is deactivated, making this not valid and not turning on the door. Now, if you were the owner of this house and um, you needed to get in, all you have to do would set in the passcode that you made before. And by the way, guys, it's really easy to change the passcode. I can do it for you right now. Just remove the torch. Move it somewhere else. And uh, continue with that. Now, that is how you reset the passcode to something else. And um, hit that little submit button. And uh, you have granted access to your base filled with redstone. So that is how it works, guys. Um... You can also create like a little pressure plate, so when you get into your house, um, you can turn off the door or reset it or whatever you want. For now, I just press the button. So that is how you make passcode lock. There's some goo goats and a blorp. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to leave me a like. Um, I really do appreciate it. And if something that you did like or learn from, um, it's telling me the truth that you did like it. Um, so, as always, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, let me know if you have a certain redstone project that you want me to showcase and show you how to build. If not, then I will just find one myself. And I hope you guys enjoy my future videos. I love putting them out. Um, like this one, it's a lot of fun showing you the values of redstone. And, well, until next time, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.